Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the importance of the wedding. Today, while I'm recording this, it's the 11th of May. That means one year of wedding anniversary. That's why it was so important to me speaking about this topic today. Even if this video was thought many, many months ago, it is so actual because even if we are in the situation that we are right now, some couples decided not to cancel their wedding because what they are looking for in a wedding is not the actual wedding, but the meaning of the wedding. Don't misunderstand me. I love my wedding in the way that it was like full of relatives, full of friends. We were dancing till late at night. But what I was looking for was actually to get married to my significant other. Something that I really love about the today video is that I'm talking about things that we did together, me and my husband, because for the rest, like for decorations or for like aesthetically pleasing touches, it was much more about me and he just agreed. But these things that were really important we did together. Let's start with the day that we came home after speaking with the priest for the first time. Today we have been to the priest to speak about the wedding and I got really emotional. The wedding I will cry for sure. <laughs> but it was really nice. This was the first brick of the real and actual preparation of the wedding. So that's why we really wanted to celebrate and remember this moment. We bought two pairs of similar shoes that I like to think about the first steps of the couple. And then we went out for dinner for sushi night because we love sushi, it's our favorite food. And maybe you know why we went for honeymoon in Japan. Something else that we do as a Catholic church is the preparation. And again, don't misunderstand me. I don't say that the Catholic church is the best. You can be like Hindu, you can be Buddhist, you can be whatever you want. The only thing that I'm focusing in is the preparation, because it's actually something that I think you have to think about. We are getting married. What does it mean? And with preparation, I mean, you can also take a couple of hours for a couple of days, just thinking with your spouse what you're going to do, why you love him or her so much and tell him or her. What are your goals together? And what does it mean that you're going to spend the rest of your life together? It's something really, really big. We just came back from the Christian preparation. You can see it as a Christian mystery, or you can see just like even a contract in your life, but it ha you have to be aware. Of course, we're taught some things from the, from the priest, and then we had uh, one paper with some questions. And when we finish to answer the question, we have to switch the papers. And it has been really nice to see the, um, the answers. Something like, uh, what did you like from your mother and father wedding? Um, yes, marriage. What you didn't like from their uh, marriage. What do you think it will be something that will keep you in love with them in something like 50 years? It was really nice. Really, really nice. I'm full of positive energy. We kept these papers and it was a really nice experience. Then it came the time for the wedding ring. This is maybe the most exciting moment of all. I'm gonna shoot them a little bit better because with the front camera of my phone you can't see them really well. Sorry for my dirt hands, but I was painting wood. I'm gonna show you mine. Inside it's written Tilemachos with Greek alphabet. And there is our wedding day. I'm gonna show you how it will go with my ring. I don't know why, even if I hate mixing metals for some reasons, maybe for the shape, because they are sister shapes, let's say. I really like the result 
I really like them together. So this is how I will be that day. I love it. I really can't wait to wear these two together. And it wouldn't be my video without a little bit of DIY time. So this is how I decided to decorate the church for that day. I have a bunch of fake flowers. Sorry for the total mess. Don't judge me. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with my life in this moment. Four bags of this natural fiber. I have to do decorations for the church. So what I'm gonna do is gather this in the center and like put it like let's say that this is the one moment I'm gonna show you on the other side gather this in the center and place here something like a flower I'm gonna create something like this and here I'm gonna put the flower with a hot glue and maybe some olive branches let's see for now this is my pile here we go so I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue and then one and two let's keep it pressed a little bit and then let's put a little bit of hot glue here as well and spam this is the result let me show you here we go I opted for this DIY because it was really easy to carry and to install since the church would have been decorated by my mom and my sister only a few hours before the wedding. And another decorative touch for the church has been the book of the Catholic uh, ritual of the marriage on each seat. I'm in the boat and I'm reading the Bible to choose. Mm what to read in my wedding. I am working in the book for the wedding. One part in Italian, one in Greek. I'm really sorry for English people, but it's hard enough even with two languages. <laughs> Another thing that we did together and was a delicious moment has been the choice of the wedding cake and let me tell you just enjoy that moment because during the wedding me for example i didn't even have time to touch the cake the big cake the one that you use for the cut of the cake was in multiple layers and in our color palette white and green and the atomic cakes were semi-sphere uh, with glaze uh, above and inside was stuck with chocolate okay that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe the red button down there see you in the next one bye